Before we pray, I would like to say some words, then we'll pray together. I don't know what season you are in right now. I don't know the pain you are carrying in your heart, but you need to know something. That time you were so upset, that time you cried yourself to sleep because you were hurting so bad, know that God saw you. Your pain and your tears were not hidden from him. He sees the pain in your heart. He knows what you are going through. He can often feel that in the darkest of our nights, God is nowhere to be found. But remember that in your pain, God has not forgotten you. He sees your tears. I love what it says in the book of Psalms. You keep track of all my sorrows. You have collected all my tears in your bottle. You have recorded each one in your book. My enemies will retreat when I call to you for help. This I know. God is on my side. I praise God for what he has promised. I trust in God. So why should I be afraid? What can mere mortals do to me? Psalm chapter 56 verses 8 through 11. That's so amazing to think that every tear you have cried, God has placed in a bottle. It's this intimate imagery that shows God is near in our hurt. The God of the universe, hearing millions of prayers at any given time, is aware of every tear that leaves your eyes. There is not a drop of water that has fallen from your eye that God has not seen, ever. In whatever stage of life you are in right now, from the burdens you felt as a three-year-old, to the weights of your teen years, to the anxieties of your young adulthood, to the complexities of old age, every burden, painful moment and anxiety you have faced, God is aware of. God does not simply dismiss our pain. He doesn't acknowledge it and then move on. No, he records them. He keeps record, personal, intimate, caring. This is who our God is. And it doesn't stop there because God doesn't just see our pain and see us weeping, but he steps in and helps us through what we are going through. In the book of Revelation, we read, I heard a loud shout from the throne saying, look, God's home is now among his people. He will live with them and they will be his people. God himself will be with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes and there will be no more death or sorrow or crying or pain. All these things are gone forever. Revelation chapter 21, verses 3 and 4. The tears you have shed will be wiped away. That is a promise you can hold on to because of God's love and faithfulness toward you. And understand this, that your suffering and struggles have a shelf life. Suffering is temporary. God's love is eternal. Regardless of how long your season of tribulation lasts, be encouraged that it will pass. There was a season that David was in that was extremely difficult. He wept and wept, and there seemed to be no light at the end of the tunnel. There seemed to be no answer to his prayers. A breakthrough seemed to be nowhere in sight, but God stepped in. Let's read what happened. I am weary with my mourning. Every night I flood my bed with tears. I drench my couch with my weeping. My eye wastes away because of grief. It grows weak because of all my foes. Depart from me, all you workers of evil. For the Lord has heard my plea. The Lord accepts my prayer. All my enemies shall be ashamed and greatly troubled. They shall turn back and be put to shame in a moment. 
Psalm chapter 6 verses 6 through 10. In the midst of his weeping, the Lord heard him. The word says, the Lord heard his weeping. He heard David as he cried out to him for help and delivered him from his enemies. In David's difficult and painful time, God heard him and helped him. And that is true with you. God hears you crying, but he also steps in to help you. He is not unaware of your struggles. He is not apathetic to your pain, whether it's with sin, anxiety, depression, loneliness, confusion, loss, doubt, or any other type of pain you face. He understands. I love what it says in Psalm 30. For his anger is but for a moment, and his favour is for a lifetime. Weeping may tarry for the night, but joy comes with the morning. Psalm chapter 30, verse 5. The night is always temporary. It's not permanent. The enemy would like us to believe so. When things are not working out and you feel like you're going the wrong way, don't get discouraged because it's simply a night season. It's not permanent. It's not how your story ends. Your story doesn't end in the night. So even though things are intense and your situation seems bleak and painful, know that God is with you and he will stop your weeping and turn it into joy. Let's pray, King Jesus. You understand what we are going through because you endured so much while you were here on earth. You suffered in ways we cannot even imagine. You cried and were in pain. You endured rejection and so many other things, but you overcame death. You defeated the devil and saved us. So even though we are in a difficult season right now, you see what we are going through. There will be an end to the painful season we are going through. Your word declares, you have turned for me my mourning into dancing. You have loosed my sackcloth and clothed me with gladness, that my glory may sing your praise and not be silent. O Lord my God, I will give thanks to you forever. Psalm chapter 30 verses 11 and 12. We hold on to your wonderful promise, especially now, while we are in the storm. It will not always be like this. There will be a turnaround for us because you declared it. Not only will your light end the darkness of our situation, but the coming of a new day will bring cause to turn our mourning into dancing. Amen. In Jesus' name, I declare all the blessings in this video to you. May you be blessed abundantly. If you received it, type Amen in the comments.